Is someone you love struggling with anxiety? In today's video, I'm gonna show you some ways you could better support them. Let's check it out. What's up everyone, my name is Justin and this is The Anxious Ambition, where we give you the tools and tips you need to better control your anxiety so that it doesn't control you. If your loved one suffers from anxiety, it can be really hard to understand what they're going through. And you may be finding it really hard to support them properly. The first thing you should do is just start to listen. Let them talk, let them tell you what's going on, and if they're hesitant to talk to you, let them know, hey, I'm here to help, I, I'm not gonna give you advice, I am not here to dismiss what you're saying or dismiss your symptoms, I just wanna help, and I'm gonna listen. So by doing this, you're gonna open that door, and if someone you love is dealing with anxiety, it can be really hard for them to open up. So really try to make them as comfortable as possible and just say, hey, I really want to talk about your anxiety. If you're open to it, I just want to hear you talk about it. Explain to me, you know, what's going on. And I'm just going to listen. I'm not going to give you any feedback. I'm not here to lecture you. I just want you to explain to me what's going on. And that can be really powerful for you and them because they're able to get some stuff off their chest and you can actually understand what's going on. And whatever they say, don't belittle it. You know, people with anxiety can deal with some crazy stuff and what may sound made up is actually happening. You know, for me, I may get dizzy for no reason, you know, if I'm anxious. And if I told someone that, they'd be like, oh, yeah, you're making that up. No, it's true, and it just happens. So it's something I've grown to deal with, but it happens and if you're talking to someone with anxiety they may bring up stuff like that um, so just be prepared to listen and respect everything they say now the next thing I want you to do is uh, after you have that conversation is to let them know that you want to help and ask them if there's anything you can do to help them you know they may say hey just leave me alone if I'm anxious please just give me my space and you need to be prepared for that and don't take it personally for me personally, there are situations where if I'm anxious, I want to be left alone. I want to get out of the situation, um, maybe go in the other room and kind of, you know, reset myself. And no matter what anyone else does, it's not going to help me. So just, you know, let them explain to you what they need from you. They might say, hey, if I'm feeling anxious, please give me a glass of water, um, make me a glass, a uh, cup of tea hold my hand, give me a hug, you know, everyone is different and that's why this video really isn't um, going to be very cookie cutter. It's really, I want you to open that conversation up with your loved one because if you don't, you're never going to know how to help them. Um, if, if I didn't tell my wife what I needed, she might be trying to do things that, you know, might make things worse and you don't want to do that. Uh, I know you don't because you care enough to be watching this video that you want to help your loved one so please ask them how you can help and you know next time you notice that they're anxious you don't even have to ask um, if you could help you just get up and do it you know if you notice if you look over and you notice your wife boyfriend girlfriend is anxious you know maybe you just get up and get them a glass of water you don't say anything you know you just give it to them and then they may know hey they're here and they know what's going on and you know they may comfort them a little bit and help them you know get out of that anxious state the last thing i want to talk about is a few things you never really want to say to someone who's anxious i don't want you to feel like you're walking on eggshells and you know i have to really think about every single thing you say but there's some things i really want you to be aware of when someone you love is being is anxious things like telling them to relax i think that's like a no-brainer you know it, in a normal situation, if someone's not anxious, if someone comes and tells you to relax, you, you, if anything, it just makes you mad. Someone who's anxious, all they're trying to do is relax. <laughs> and if you tell them to do that, it is not going to help. Okay, So please refrain from saying that. Um, same thing with like calm down. It's the same concept. Do not tell someone to calm down. That It doesn't work. <laughs> in outside of anxiety and it's sure as hell doesn't work if someone's anxious. On another note, if you think someone is anxious, don't 
ever should have asked someone, are you anxious? It, if they are, one, if they're gonna get more anxious, and if they're not anxious, you might just provoke some anxiety because they're wondering, why do you think that? Do I look anxious? Um, you know, this and that. You know, there could be other things going on that may just provoke that anxiety. What I like to do is ask someone, how are you feeling? You know, if you, if you suspect someone, you know, maybe they're feeling a little uh, anxious, a little uncomfortable, ask them, how are you feeling? That gives them an opportunity to explain. You know, maybe they're gonna say, hey, yeah, I'm feeling a little anxious, but you know, I'm okay. Um, no, I'm doing fine. You know, they might just say, no, I'm good. You know, why do you ask? And you might just say, you know, just curious and, and leave it at that. Again, I don't want you to start having to walk on eggshells. It's just, I wanted to explain this because that way you can be more aware of it. You know, if you tell someone to relax here and there, you know, we all do it. And it's an immediate regret. You know, you yell at someone, hey, relax. It doesn't work. And then we realize that right away. So I just want you to be aware of these things you're saying because if someone's dealing with anxiety, they might be a little bit more sensitive to these words like relax, calm down, you know, hey, are you anxious? You know, just my advice to you is just to be aware of it. I really hope these tips get you thinking of ways that you can better help your loved one dealing with anxiety. You know, as someone who does deal with anxiety, we really appreciate the love, the care, the, you know, extra effort that may go into being with someone, you know, like myself and from all of us dealing with anxiety, we just want, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching this video, for taking the time to learn more about what's going on. And that's another thing. I really recommend that you do some research into anxiety and learn more about, you know, the symptoms, ways you can help. The more research you do, the more you can help them, the more you can be aware of what they're actually going through. And, you know, that in this channel, we're going to give you more tips and tools to not only help you, the loved one, but to help the person dealing with anxiety themselves. And if you think any of these tips are gonna help you, please give us a like. It's gonna help the channel a lot. It's gonna help us grow so we can help more and more people. And if you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss the next video.